Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm on the Treasure Island map because I thought it would be a pretty good idea to create a tank today, which sounds kind of ironic considering that the update is... It's less than a week away now, I think. Yeah, six days if you count today. But I thought it would be a good idea to make a tank here, despite how ironic it sounds, so I can compare how much easier it is to make one in the new update as opposed to in this version of the game that we currently still have. So I think that's enough introduction. So without any further ado, I think I'm just going to start. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this, to be honest. I don't know how this is going to end up looking like. And whether or not this is going to be a good tank i guarantee well i guarantee this isn't going to be a very good tank in terms of like combat capability but i just want to see how simple it gets i'm going to attempt to build basically i think the exact same tank in this version and in the new version and just see how much easier one or the other is which will require a little bit of construction but nothing i don't think i can handle just trying to see how i want this to look i've already gotten quite used to the new uh new pieces and they it fe they feel distinctly missing for me right now now i don't know if we're allowed to say this yet so if we're not, I am very sorry, but we are supposed to be getting the new version, as in content creators, are supposed to be getting it on Monday. So we have a couple of days to work on some videos for them to come out at the roughly the same time as the update drops, which I think is really cool and super awesome on the dev side. And it is for this reason precisely that I come to you today with this question, whether or not you would be willing to wait that extra couple of days and let me withhold my video production on Monday and Tuesday so that I can really like hop into the new update and get those new videos ready for you. Or if it's not really that important to you and you just want me to, um, do some normal content until the update actually drops so let me know how you think about that in the comments uh but yeah interruption over mm, maybe i shouldn't have started with the body actually because i need i would like to try and recreate the same functionality that the tracks have using wheels if that makes sense so i will need some suspension bits now, I can't recreate this perfectly, obviously. But I think I can get pretty damn close. That feels pretty good. So these are all going this way, which is nice. And then I'll have a cross beam right here, probably. And then behind it will be like an engine area. And then I can just copy all of this over like so and then we have like these very nice tank tracks if you will well obviously they're not tank tracks but they kind of look like they are so that's good enough for me but now the question is what do i want to do now i'll probably just connect everything and then go from there just get an engine in like so that there get another beam across like so so we can connect that suspension piece get a temporary block here and one here and then i'm going to place a seat i need to set these to not power these wheels i need to set these to not power these wheels and then what I'm going to do is we're going to set up some rudimentary tank steering. I think this is how that'll go. And then all we need is a logic gate. OK, 
connecting into all of them with W and S. And that Perfect. We have tank steering. Pretty rapid ones at that as well. Maybe too rapid. How about I set these to be W and S as well? This is a quick tank. Holy. Ow. So where is a, where would be a good place to test whether or not the suspension pieces are doing what I want them to do? I really like somewhere down this hill because I know that it's quite bumpy. Look, you can see it's like very, it looks even, but it's really not. Ah, I know what's causing me to steer. Let's turn off air control. Look at all that articulation. I think that more than well enough replicates some tank steering right there. I might get rid of this gate, honestly, because it's going a little bit too fast for me. Two dragon engines, I think, is more than enough. Much better. That's way more controllable. Okay, that bouncing is really satisfying. I am way too hyped over a system right now that will be obsolete in six days. So let's continue instead. Um, ow. Let me just make a body and see where it goes. So definitely get this in here, I think. That will look pretty okay. And then we can start placing some pieces on top. I think that won't look too horrible if I do say so myself. Then I can already get the aiming servo in like so. And then you can put some decorative bits and bobs on top of the wheels to make it look a little bit nicer ever so slightly it's not brilliant but i think it'll do so there's that and then i think the front we're going to make a little bit more angular than the rear it's not going to be a pretty tank by uh, any means or any metric but I think it is going to be um, a good drive. Maybe let us put some underwater propellers on the inside to emulate the um, being able to drive around using the submarine uh, engine, the, the submersible engine, or what was it called again? The underwater engine, that's right. Because in the new tank, I'm probably going to add a couple of those, just so the tank has a nice wading depth, meaning I'll be able to drive it even if the engines won't function, but the seat isn't deep enough to the point where I get kicked out like this. The engines are not working because I can I can't steer. Um, okay, so um, that was embarrassing, but I think if we get rid of auto brake, yep, that issue immediately solves itself. But I think I'm quite happy with this. Whoa, drift! I think I'm quite happy with this design. Obviously, I can't turn in the water, but that's okay. I believe. So now I need a nice chunky turret to go on top of this. And I think instead of worrying about how it fits on top with all the connection points and stuff, because if, for example, I wanted to do this, obviously the turret wouldn't turn. I'm just going to use pistons to 
solve all my problems in that way instead. So I think I'm going to make it nice and angular all the way around. I think I'm pretty happy with it. We have a turret with four small tank cannons, like so. We have tank steering, which is pretty cool. We have nice suspension. We have some underwater propulsion capabilities. And overall, I think it also doesn't look too bad either. So now, what I'm going to do is give this a paint job. Now, this is also going to change in the new version because of all the new colors that we're getting. But I'll do my best to um, come up with something here, especially considering I don't really do tanks in my spare time, so I don't really know what I'm doing. job done I think this build is finished now how long is my recording going for 20 minutes so this build took me 20 minutes and it's a nice tank I think all things considered I think it could be nicer with the new blocks now let me know what you think of this tank in the comments down below obviously the it, it's not a very combat worthy tank by any metric because there's no armoring on it at all or anything of the sort so i do know that it won't be very durable in a combat situation however do you think that it'll be easier or more difficult to make a tank just like this one with the underwater engine the new tank tracks and the tank steering mechanism. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on that matter. But as far as this video is concerned, I very much hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all again. Ow. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Peace. Oh. I thought I was gonna hit like a cool trick shot and then the barrel would bounce away, but I'm too far away for the physics to count. Oh, it turns out they're just not affected by explosions? Yeah, okay. Good to know.